Well, it's a survey of my work um, from the last 20 years, and um, it's hard to describe, I guess, because, well, one, I just made it, and so um, when one makes things, they, they do it because it's a proposition and a question, um, and it's an unknown. So parallel universes is, is a kind of lovely way to, to put words to it because it is unknown. It is similar, um, you know, strangely familiar, but, but kind of, um, you know, at a distance. Alex has transformed the whole uh, west wing of the museum. So for those of us who come here regularly, there's not really anything left that you recognize. The floors are new. There's, there are colored floors in each space. He's changed the wall colors in every space. He's installed special lighting systems, uh, both fluorescent lights and neon lights all over that kind of washes over you and changes, changes you along with the colors of, in the works. And he's added these scents uh, throughout the exhibition, orange, orange cinnamon, rose, uh, peppermint. And I think part of it is about kind of getting away from like this disembodied viewing experience, but making you aware of your own body while you walk through the show. Accessibility is like a um, really important part of my work uh, in terms of, um, you know, creating a space where anyone can approach um, the question at hand and, and have a kind of response. Um, it's so urgent for me to kind of level a sort of hierarchy that exists societally um, and to do so is to say, um, you know, is to celebrate even the smallest, um, you know, piece of plastic or rubbish and to say, hey, um, what value is here? Throughout the show, you have all these references to uh, horror as it's portrayed in popular culture. Some of it's, you know, in reference to Halloween as it's, you know, celebrated by, especially in America. But it's also what horror represents in our culture as kind of a counter image to, you know, societal ideas of normality and sanity and whatever. And I think Alex finds uh, in these kind of counter images, uh, something that uh, he can identify with. That work is very much about kind of like a melancholy portray portrayal of the American dream. And uh, it shows us children's TV and uh, movies from like the, the, you know, the golden era of American television and movies. And I think uh, that the kind of the, the, the melancholy talk tone uh, of that, that uh, film is, is that something is lost in a way.
that nation is really fraught. Um, it's uh, you know it's 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 quite complicated, and the objects that we consume and that we adorn ourselves with are a reflection of a of a time. Um, so for me, uh, if it is a fraught time, um, that that complication is reflected in the objects we produce as well, um, and vice versa. And we can learn from those things.